What's up guys, my name's Anthony and today we've got a lot to cover. So first we're going to go over a technical analysis update and show you how the ascending wedge pattern we were watching last week has become invalidated and morphed into something new. We'll also give you some strategies to trade or invest in this new pattern. And then in the second half of the video, we're going to explore a bold link price prediction that went viral on Twitter this week and break down the man behind the tweet and the validity of it. If you saw the thumbnail, we were talking about $200 per link. So it is a bold prediction. And you guys know I generally like to be very modest with my predictions. So I'll give, get into that and give you my opinions on it. But as always, I want to thank our new and returning subscribers for supporting the channel and explain what we do here. Crypto Ride exists to help you safely navigate the world of cryptocurrency investing through news stories, technical analysis videos, and crypto project review videos. If you're passionate about Chainlink, altcoins in general, crypto investing in general, or just passionate about achieving financial freedom, make sure to join our growing community by subscribing to the channel in the bottom right corner of your screen. All right, let's get into it. Hey guys, what's going on? So I just want to get everybody up to speed here. So if you look at this candle here, these are daily candles. And this was June 1st. It's when I put out my last video. And I was talking about how we were pushing towards the upside of this ascending or rising wedge and how I thought that would be potentially bearish and have a downward breakout. I'm going to show you how things have changed since then, but I do just want to mention that we did hit my one of my upside targets here. And I talked about how this would be a trading zone and that if we topped out, it would probably be somewhere in there. And you can see we topped out at $4.62, which was directly inside of that rectangle. So that was good stuff. I felt good about that. But what you can also see as the week progressed is that we stayed really up above this red line, which if we were talking about a rising wedge, we kind of, we really pretty much invalidated if I click on this next screen, I want to show you that this is actually a parallel ascending channel now. So this is an ascending channel. It is rising and it is parallel. And I'll tell you this, the good news about parallel channels is they don't have as much of a tendency to break as fast as wedges do. So parallel channels are more content just doing what they're doing long term, which if you've been watching the channel regularly makes sense with everything that I've been telling you in that this uptrend is really healthy and that it hasn't gone parabolic and just the angle of it. We've talked about that 45 degree angle a lot and how that's a good thing here. And as you can see over here, we are still on track to hit $5 on August 1st. If this ascending channel or really just this uptrend in general stays in play. And here's another ascending channel, and you can see there's that parallelness, there's that straightness to the lines. You got the upper channel line and the lower trend line, which of course you can see on our pattern as well. Traders could open a long position when a stock's price reaches an ascending channel's lower trend line and eggs the trade when price nears the upper channel line. A stop loss order should be placed slightly below the lower trend line to prevent losses if the securities price abruptly reverses. Traders who use this strategy should ensure there is enough distance between the pattern's parallel lines to set up an adequate risk reward ratio. So what's a risk reward ratio if you're new to trading and investing? Basically, you want to have a two to one ratio. So you give yourself the opportunity to make twice as much money if it's a winning trade than you would lose if it's a losing trade. And everything I've read always says two to one ratio. You know, you want to always put yourself in a position to make more than you lose. Because remember, you will never win every single trade. Anyone who tells you you will is lying to you flat out. So now I want to talk about how that trading strategy would look on this particular chart in this particular moment in history here. So the price right here, $4.41. If the price continues to fall to our lower trend line, right? It's not going to happen instantly. It'll probably happen over the course of the couple days. And what I'm kind of estimating is by the time it gets down here, I think $4.11 is what I have marked might be an interesting buying point if you wanted to try and buy the bottom. Now, let me be clear. The goal here would be to buy this price and see it ping pong around and rise back up to the top trend line of the channel. Okay, so what I'm looking at here is, and this is what I'm literally looking at for myself right now, I'm going to see if this falls to about $4.11. 
If I can get it there and see it come close to the bottom of the trend line, I might try and pick up something and set a stop loss at $3.70. So let me show you why I picked $3.70 also. And if I move this trend line up, you can see right here, and I'll zoom in on that for you, right there, you've got some support. And that is at $3.70. So what I've done here in calling this 370 is I'm giving the price some wiggle room to go even behind that. I'm saying if the price falls and the trade doesn't go well, I'm saying I think the price is going to bounce and rebound back upwards here. So I'm placing my stop loss below that even. So I'm still giving myself a chance to remain in the trade. And you have to do that really with any trade, but with crypto, it's so volatile. You really have to make sure that you account for the volatility. So $3.70 would be a potential stop loss. And in a best case scenario, we'd see this price start to go higher over the course of the next couple days or weeks. You can see from peak to peak here, we were May 9th or May 8th to May 21st. So we were about, let's say, two weeks there. So we can expect to see some sort of peak probably in about two weeks if everything kind of goes the way it's been going for lack of a better word. And watch here, the other thing I want to just point out is I'm not going to try and take this all the way to the top at $4.86. I'm not going to get greedy. I'm going to say $4.80. Maybe even, I might even check out before that if I do end up doing this and it ends up going well. Because I've noticed if you try and get greedy, that's when you end up losing profits and it's never fun giving up profits. I also want to say this, when I trade and talk about trading Chainlink, I'm really just talking about trading a small percentage of my ownings. Um, as you guys know who watch the channel regularly, I am a Link hodler, but from time to time, I like to play swing trades on Link too. But let's get into this price prediction here. And by the way, it wasn't just and Chainlink, that these predictions were these wild figures were made. He was calling a couple altcoins. And so who is he? Who are we talking about? We're talking about Simon Dedek. He is the co-founder of BlockFire. And we'll talk about BlockFire just for a moment if you don't know who they are. He's a managing partner at Moonrock Capital, which is a really small account, only has 543 followers. BlockFire, slightly bigger account, but nothing massive, just under 8,000 followers, which as you guys know, many of the people in the crypto space have many more followers than that. So he's more of a micro influencer than like a true influencer as far as his span. But he did make this tweet on June 4th. That's when it was made, if you didn't see it. And here are the numbers, and there are the other ones, BNB to 500, uh, VET to a dollar, Tezos to $200, and there's Link at $200. So here's the website, the future of investing right here, right now. Digital assets are changing the way people build and secure wealth. The insights and services of BlockFire provide investors with a gateway to the world of blockchain and cryptocurrencies. So, you know, this guy here, he's got an agenda in that this is his bread and butter. So here's the thing is someone like me who does this as a side hustle, I'm a crypto enthusiast and I've got this YouTube channel. I can speak to you from the heart and I can tell you with conviction, you know, where I think the prices are going. He has an incentive to tell you that prices are going to go higher. So in general, I get a lot more excited when I see people from outside of the crypto space making bold predictions. So I'm not going to say there's no way it can happen, but um, you know, those are my thoughts on $200. I do think that is a little lofty of a prediction. I think $100, if we completely bubble up, is a possibility. I don't know about 200, but of course, I would love to be wrong in this case. What do you think? Where do you think the chain link price could top out at during this next bull run in 2020 and certainly by the end of 2021? I want to remind you to never invest more than you can afford to lose in cryptocurrency and enjoy the ride. See you next time.